Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT strategies and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at In The Money Stocks. Com. All right, today is date Thursday, June 12th, 2014, and the profits are flowing in. I took 100% gains on my DAL, Delta Airlines, puts that I gave out to members in the Research Center about a week ago. We also took 26% profit on IYT puts, which I also gave about a week and a half ago to members here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. In addition, I just covered my Boeing short for $4.90. That's about a 3.5% gain. This was a great call. We just held this for a few days, literally shorting it right here at the highs, right in this range. There was a gap fill right here. Take a look at that area. That was your target, and look at the fall on this thing. A perfect pattern play out. Can't ask for anything better than this, folks. The profits are swallowing us up. It is nice to have. And again, it's been a slow market over the last couple weeks. But the beauty is as long as you keep your head down and continue to take good trade setups as swing trades, the market will pay you. Inevitably, yeah, could they stall the market for a week or two? Sure. But they will pay you out. And we have seen a huge, huge payday today. Monstrous payday. So again, options, stocks, I don't care. If it's there, I'm going to take the trade, especially when I see a setup like on DAL for the drop where it was going to pay us so handsomely on those options calls. And again, take a look at DAL today, guys. Look at this epic collapse from this area right up here, which again, if you zoom out, look at this trend line. It told you it was going to sell off. The fact that it went above a little bit meant it was going to be even even harder sell off. And look at the sell-off today, guys, down another 6%. The 50 MA is coming up. That will be a very, very important level. And then below that, you have a gap fill right here, which will be your next level. Okay? So huge volume and huge action there. And again, very, really, if you look at the volume, look at the volume today and yesterday on DAL. Huge exit going on right there. UAL, monstrous sell-off. Look at this, down 7% on the day, a little off its lows. Uh, take a look at AAL, also getting hammered, down almost 8% on the day. So just a huge, huge sell-off. And if we go back to the spiders, guys, uh, I love this down day. The choreographing was there. I warned you guys we could have a little bit of a sell-off. And today's not a huge day to the downside. Right now, SPY down three-quarters of 1%, but it's a solid down day. Right now, S&P down 15, Dow down 115, and the NASDAQ down 41. But the key here, what you had to understand was a very clear um, signal. And I talked about this in every video I did over the last couple days, late last week into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. We saw right here. Monday's reversal action, that was a signal that a top was in place or could be in place short term. Then you saw the lack of ability to rally it back on Tuesday. The gap down on Wednesday where they brought it up off the lows, but they couldn't break it out through the highs of the day, leading to Thursday's decline. Yep, so right there. You can see how the market, again, was telling you there was going to be some selling. This is why I just continue to pick up good opportunities. Good opportunity on the short side. If I saw it, I was going to take it, and that's exactly what we did. So, again, just banging out profits left and right here, guys. And, again, huge money. And right now, we're still holding on to a bunch of shorts, which are paying us very handsomely today. And, again, if you're a member of the Research Center, congratulations. Congrats on that. And, again, you know, just enjoy it. This is the way it goes. You know, as I said, there can be periods where the market's dead, like we had the last couple weeks, and then it erupts and pays us handsomely for that time that it was dead. And that's what you want. All right. What else do we have here? Um, number one, markets are into support here. All right. I bought the spiders off this low. I already made a good scalp on it. How did I know the market was going to be there? Because if you look here, this was a major support line. All right. Take a look at this. Uh, this line is a line I talked to you guys about a while ago. All right, by the way, just look at this one up here. See this one right here? Look at that bounce. And then if you connect it through, you can see right here, this pivot high here, and it goes back even further. And I can zoom out right to this line as well. If you take this secondary line, which actually goes here, look at this. Go all the way back to April. This high. All right, connect that high to this high right here. Okay? Connect that high all the way through, and you got above it here, hammered, 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 
And then look at this, guys. Look at this. That same line extending through, guess where we are right now. This is a big level. If the markets at some point break through this level, market has more downside. If it's able to stall here, you might see a bounce on Friday. Just that simple. This is how it works, folks. You read the charts and you understand it. And I love this because, I mean, so many people out there were saying over the last couple of days, oh, the markets are going to go higher, oh, and all I do is I just look at the charts, look at the freaking charts. I don't give a crap what people are saying. I don't give a crap what me, the media, is talking about. All I do is just simply look at the charts and let the charts tell me. People are so ignorant in that respect. They think that they know better than the market. I don't know better than the market, and I, I am honest about that. I'll tell you right off the bat, market is always right. It's my job to just read the signals that the market's telling. And if I read them correctly, then I get to put myself on the right side of the next move. That's all. You can't tell the market. You can't just guess at the market. If you want to be a trader for life or a swing trader or an investor for life, you want to be the next Warren Buffett. You want to be the next David Tepper. You've got to be able to read this market, folks. All right. So that's what we have going on here, guys. And again, the question now, and, and I'm just being honest with you, is we're at huge support here. This is a huge level. If we close on the daily below this level, it could open the market up to more downside. If not, then you could see a bounce on Friday. Just that simple. I'm giving you both alternatives, and it's all based off of this area right here. Simple. See how I'm letting the market tell us? Because the market's going to tell us at the close of today. Simple stuff, guys. All right. In any case, I'm not going to say much more on that. Let's just take a look at some stocks out there. Uh, again, Boeing getting hammered today beautifully. Took my profits on that short. I think it could go lower, but the fact is I wanted to take a little bit off the table on the short side because uh, if the market does bounce off this level into the weekend, it gives us that opportunity to at least protect ourselves and take some money, especially after DAL 100% gains as well as uh, the IYT gains on the options as well. Okay? Um, Apple, let's take a look at Apple today. Apple's down about $2. It's a great fall on Apple. All right, Apple actually had a key level that was a shortable level. I did not pull the trigger because I had a bunch of other shorts that I was taking at the time. But right here was your level. A little bit of a gap fill pierces that. And look, look at that beautiful fall. 2% drop on Apple is actually a pretty good drop. That's actually a pretty solid drop on Apple. JP Morgan Chase today down 30 cents or so. That's not a big drop on JPM, but it is a decent drop. And Goldman Sachs, look at this. Goldman's actually up today. And look at this nice beginning of bullish consolidation up here. So interesting to watch. By the way, oil's rallying today. Why is oil rallying? Because really what's going on in Iraq is just a catastrophe as the, um, the militants are taking over town after town after city after city. And obviously it's going to put oil in, in jeopardy, so that's why. So oil ripping higher. I called for higher oil. I said it would be into July 4th. It's actually happening far before that. You know, literally right now three weeks before July 4th, but... There you have it as well. I still think there's more upside on oil, uh, but a lot will have to do with what happens with the uh, Iraqi situation right now. Okay, so that's what we have going on there. IBM's down a dollar. Intel's down 11 cents. I shorted Intel a couple days ago. We're already in the money, 40 plus cents on that, about one and a half percent. Hewlett Packard was up higher today. It had a big, big pop early, and look at this reversal today. I mean, just a beautiful pullback. Came up here, and this this is now a topping tail on the chart. I think honestly, I think Hewlett Packard's top is in long term. I absolutely do. Another stock I think the top is in longer term is on a Micron. Micron, sure. I mean, it just got an upgrade yesterday. Upgrading at highs like this, almost always a top signal. Look at Apple in 2012. Look at Twitter in 2014, early year. I mean, all these type of things topping out on upgrades. So, there you have it. All right, bottom line is I got to get back to trading, guys, because there is a ton of money to be made in this market. Uh, if you're not part of the Research Center, if you're not part of the Intraday Stock Chat as a day trader, then you're missing out. Research Centers for investors and swing traders. A free trial is here. Might as well take it. Might as well make some of this money. I mean, think about that. 100% option profit on DAL just in a matter of a few days. 26% on that. Now we have our swing trades like Boeing paying us off handsomely. It's here for the taking. Question is, do you want to take it and make money like the, the rest of the smart investors? Take care.